Hey, what's up guys, it's Eli, and um, I had uh, several requests. I, I made a short video recently going over some options from this weird kind of uh, arm grab thing. I don't have a name for it. I learned it uh, several years back um, from Greg Nelson. I, I, I saw this grip that he was using and he had some cool options off of it. It was really strong control when I started playing with it. And uh, since then I've seen some uh, extra little details. So anyway, I wanna make sure I give homage to where I got the original grip idea from, and he probably got it from somewhere else, I don't know. But um, anyway, these are some really good options from this really kind of uh, unorthodox kind of grip. Uh, I like to start it from closed guard because a lot of times in closed guard, what will happen is um, if he's here and I get his, his hands to the floor, so basically that's just a, um, all we're really doing to clear his hands is if he's posting out like this, is I'm going to lift my hips, I'm going to scoop inside his hands, and then as my hips come down, I'm going to pull his arms to the floor. Now, here he expects a lot of the time I'm going to sit up to Kimura or to this kind of sit up sweep like this, which are good options but it's a little less uh, expected for me to sit up and shoot my arm inside here like this. So this, a lot of times, we'll read as an arm drag, but then it's a, there's another layer kind of a de of deception to this too, because I'm not trying to get the arm drag. Instead, I'm gonna come here like a rear naked choke style grip, and I wanna get here. I like to put my fist up here by the shoulder and kind of cup like that. I'm keeping my guard open at this point, but it could be possibly closed, and I'm clamped down heavy on his shoulder bicep area like this. Now. A few things that can happen from here, if he wants to stay here and just kind of uh, like hug me here instead, then what I'm gonna look to do here is I'm gonna use this to tuck down heavy on his uh, lower tricep here and I'm gonna hike up with my inside grip. So from there, I'm gonna tuck, lift here like this, I'm gonna fall to the side. Now, at this point, I'm, I'm aiming here, I'm bringing this leg down so that I'm gonna sweep him. This could be a bridge here, or if I could get inside the leg here, then I can make this into like a butterfly type sweep here, to where we sweep over this direction, and when we land, we still have this intact. So that's pretty nice if we can keep that there. Um, there's different options that we can look to do from here. I can keep this here and start sliding into like modified mouth because I've got the space underneath the shoulders and get into like S mount and whatever. You can kind of finish this however you find fit. The main thing is we're using that grip to get to the sweep this, uh, for this kind of time right here. When um, another option that we might have from here, because he's gonna give you some kind of reaction. This first one is a little predicated off of him not really giving you much reaction other than staying here and kind of hugging back into you. But sometimes though, the guy will feel this, he feels his arm trapped, he can't do a lot about his upper arm, so he'll try to weave his arm inside like this here, which could potentially get him some freedom here. It's got a little bit of space happening, but what I wanna do whenever that happens is I feel that I'm gonna slide this hand, the inside hand down to the back of his tricep, and I wanna drag. As I go to drag, I open this space here, and then I reach around like this and post and come here to seal that space that I just opened off of the arm drag. So a little quicker, it looks like this here when he weaves inside, I drag and I post and I start to climb his back. So once I start to climb his back here, you've got great options, obviously. You can go here and just kind of push and topple him over this direction here, right? That's an option. Um, there's also the options here of diving in on this arm, pushing here, I'm going to swim out to this arm bar from here, right? Um, there's other options. Like once we make this arm drag off of here like this, I can come up here, I can start to work in like a little half Nelson, start to bridge him over, lock in on that bottom side hip, and then start to work in to things like twisters, truck entries, and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Off of the arm drag, you probably have the most options to be able to uh, take his back or sweep him or whatever. So once we get here now, again, we get this kind of grip configuration. Maybe he tries to weave in and we go to the arm drag. If he doesn't try to weave in and instead from here, he starts to look to pass. Because maybe I left a little too much space and he's passing over. So this is not a good proposition for me right here. But since this has pulled his shoulder off center here, even though he has the underhook on this side, my arm is beating his underhook here. So what I'm gonna look to do is I wanna uh, hug down tight this way, reach up and over here. So I'm twisting myself out. Once I start to come up to the top, I wanna reach across, get a nice chin strap on his beard here like this. And then from there, I want to gable grip my two hands in like this here and try to shove that arm inside. At this point here, I can look to try to get this headlock finished. I can maybe get the choke off of that. If that's not quite getting the job done, I can start to circle that side, use this to make the roll across here, and then block with my leg, finish out the anaconda squeeze like that. So one more time off of that last option here. This comes from him starting a pass because essentially when I get here, he's got an underhook. So if he gets this other leg pinned down, he starts to slice across. I can circle out here, get, get in on the front headlock, 
Collapse the two hands together. I want to start to look to duck my head back inside and walk around the corner. And then we roll him up and over, block the leg here, shoot through, get the anaconda, all right? So these are three options that I like a whole lot. I like, to, I like when everything's have uh, come in threes because you typically get three energetic reactions. Um, the energetic reactions, what I mean by that is there's going to be push reaction, pull reaction, or stagnate reaction. If he stagnates, we've got the sweep. That's a pretty good one. That might even be off a slight push. If he's pulling away from me, in other words, he's weaving the arm back through trying to get his arm out, we go to the arm drag, back take, sweep, whatever. Um, if from there he tries to push through and he's getting that pass within the or push reaction, we get the sit out or turn out, whatever it is, to the front headlock position. So we've got three really good energetic reactions all off of this nice grip. So anyway, guys, I hope that you like this. Uh, I like this grip a whole lot. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section and if you have a name for it. And I appreciate you guys watching Night Jiu-Jitsu.